Now to Chula Vista, where police are continuing to investigate a fire they say was deliberately set inside a 7-Eleven, seriously burning two women, one of them critically. The ex-boyfriend of one of those women is in custody. Today, ABC 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco spoke to that woman's son. Rachel. Really, this 7-Eleven has been closed since Saturday. This is a picture of Amanda Buchanan. She is in the hospital in grave condition. All day, dropping off these flowers and candles, and her son is trying to figure out how anyone can do this to his mom. Dominique Rivera says his mom lives a simple life. She'd go to work, you know, go do her thing, and then after work, she'd enjoy going out with, you know, her friends, going to bingo. Amanda Buchanan works as a manager at 7-Eleven on Broadway and L in Chula Vista. The details of what happened inside this store around 8 Saturday morning are heinous. If I go back, I probably wouldn't have watched the video, but at the same time, I don't know if I'd ever be able to live peacefully if I never saw the video. Dominique says surveillance video shows his mom ambushed from behind. As he came in, she had her back turned to go into the bathroom. He rushed in with a can of gasoline, doused her with it. They got into a scuffle, and then that's when he set her on fire. Another woman working in the store tried to put out the flames, but was burned in the process. When firefighters got here, she was already outside, but Buchanan was inside, unable to move. The owner of the business next door came in with the fire extinguisher and put her out. She was burning for a total of 40 seconds. Police arrested Jose Villanueva in Redlands later that day. The family says Villanueva was the victim's ex-boyfriend and that she'd been trying to get away from him. Buchanan's son, who lives in Idaho, had no idea. She would talk really good things about him and say that he's a great guy and, you know, talked him up. And so it made it seem like I had nothing to worry about. And when behind closed doors, there's a lot to worry about. Villanueva has a violent criminal record. He's now facing more than a dozen felonies, including attempted murder, torture, and arson. Buchanan suffered burns on more than 80% of her body. She was unrecognizable. It's very traumatic. Back at the store, friends, customers, and strangers are leaving candles, flowers, and well wishes. She was very, like, definitely the life of the party anywhere she went. Everybody loved her. Now, her son says that Villanueva worked at the 7-Eleven but was fired at some point. Police say he was living unsheltered here in Chula Vista. He'll be in court on Wednesday. Reporting live in Chula Vista, Rachel Bianco, ABC 10 News. You described it perfectly, Rachel. That's heinous. Thank you for that live update.